All right, in this video, I'm going to be talking about what to do if your central heating water pump has jammed or it's not working. So this is the Grand Foss water pump. It's a very high-end water pump. It's not one of those cheap ones. And the reason why I'm concentrating on this Grand Foss pump, and this one's been in for about 15 years, is because it's got a very funny little kind of adapter that's needed to what you call free up or free up the stuck veins on the pump and this is probably only a temporary kind of fix and if it gets you out of a cold period at your home then that's what this video is about in the long run I think I'm gonna to have to change and I'm pretty sure this pump or do something drastic like my next step is to take the pump apart but on this video just to get you through the night because you're kind of freezing open your boiler up and you see an F24 now F24 is something of a pump uh, if you look up your guidebook this is the Valiant Ecotech so in your guidebook F24 says something to do with pump pressure it'll be like a uh, a list of all the F, the faults at the back and I've already pre-read it and it's so we do pump pressure so I've had this problem for a little while and I've been kind of freeing it up and uh, getting it back again a few days later the problem comes back and I've been trying to free it up and getting the problem back again so what do you do first step turn off the power right the next thing is you need a lot of tools now when I say a lot, you don't really need a lot, you need a lot of variety because look at all these all these different tool bits I have, look at them, so many and you know what, the reason why this video is important because for the Grand Foss pump there's only one tool that actually fits and I'll show you which tool it is but let's get the tool that we commonly need which is quite simple, we need something like a, a large flat screwdriver and I'll put this uh, I'll pick this flat number number six into the screwdriver so the first bit simple see this cap here and you see everything's upside down but that doesn't matter see this cap this cap here acts as the uh, part where you undo to free up the pump and also it acts as the bleed screw for if for any future air bubbles that occur after I change the pump. So notice there's a, a little arrow there. That little arrow there, just here, isn't telling you which way to turn the screw. It's to tell you which way to turn the veins on the pump. So the power is off. Insert your screwdriver, and there's going to be a bit of resistance because you you're going to there's going to be a seat, rubber seal in there. Actually, what I should do next is to kind of line everything up with some towels. Right, so let's undo that. Water starts dripping. Now the, the, the veins are obviously inside this unit, uh, but there's a funny, really funny little adapter. Now the only adapter that seems to fit into the hole to spin the veins is this one here this flat screwdriver number three okay so using the number three flat screwdriver let's try that again it just about fits put it into the corner and then using a bit more force I felt as I turned that and it is turning now let me show you a bit closer So it should rotate freely like that, and it was stuck. So I am going to take apart this pump. There's going to be one, two, three, four, four little bolts that are Allen key. And this pump should split in half. But for you, if you get that pump spinning freely like that, it will get you through the night until you're ready to take apart the pump or change the pump. Okay, anyway. Thanks for watching, and I'll show you as it turns on. You should see it spin. It doesn't matter if the lid is off. So, 
so you should spin like now it's rotating you can't you can't see the edges of the, the little kind of hole all right anyway so thanks for watching and you know when it's on and when it's not on at home to diagnose it one of the ways is just to put your hand on it you can feel it vibrating all right so thanks for watching of course don't forget to put the the cap back on there you go same precision as before